good to go to the front door. The final purchase. His mother left him when he was born. She used to do a lot of drugs. He wrote a book. Yeah, that book's one of the uh, top children books in the world right now. He remained an orphan, alone from one house to the other. He's just won the Guinness World Record as the fastest man in the world, but with no legs. His parents left him when he was a kid, but he never gave up. And number two in the US as the strongest wrestler. the fastest guy on the planet on my hands. I'm already the best in the world in one thing. I got about four more things to go. Like, I like not having legs. I like living life this way. There was no way I could do it. No one was listening to me. My disease I have is actually called caudal regression syndrome. It is called caudal regression syndrome. It is a very rare condition, only one kid out of 100,000 each year are born with it. Mm -hmm. And it is a very, it's... It is a rare disease and a birth defect. He has legs, but they're small and didn't grow. You're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag and forever in peace. Now, he is the fastest in the world. We came from afar. We flew from Dubai to Turkey and from Turkey to San Diego. From far away just to film this story. The guy we're meeting is unbelievable. The strength he has is unusual, not a usual person. Before we start, hit like and subscribe. Let's go. Greatness is not born. It's made. <laughs> Here. Yeah. <laughs> so my name is Zion Clark, aka Big Z. Uh, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a professional wrestler. I'm a professional track and field athlete. One of the fastest guys in the world on track. And currently, I'm a Guinness World Record holder. And I'm the fastest guy. I'm the fastest guy on the planet on my hands. I'm about to set the bar from here to here. You know, it got pretty rough, man. I suffered through a lot of different things, but... Now, we're following him anywhere he goes. How does he spend his day? You know, people are watching like my every move every time I do something, so. You're living? <laughs> I'm living a dream right now, man. I'm about to be moving out of my spot. I'm, about, I'm getting ready to buy a house, and I'm only 24 buying a house, so I'm pretty happy about that. This guy, something made him do this. There's a motivation. He suffered a lot. Before he was 17 years old, he moved from one house to the other. No one wanted to adopt him. He was an orphan because he has no father. His mother left him because he was on drugs. Imagine at 17, a woman adopted him. And then he stood on his hands and said, I'll be successful. Even now, you know, I'm, I'm a young guy. I'm 24. Um, I still have my moments, but you know, it's all about inspiring the next generation. And uh, when I broke the Guinness record, I felt like I was on top of the world. And you know, not every day you get to say that there's no one better than you. And right now, I'm telling you right now, there's no one better than me uh, on the planet. And that feels really good because knowing that it's true, it's just like, wow, you know. Dude, I know I'm gonna be like, <laughs> you need to go through tough times to be to be successful. How did he reach this level? Now we'll go with Zion in the car and he will take us to the gym where he trains. Let's go, let's look at his life. Thank Allah for all his blessings.
Next thing you know, I get a call that's like, hey, Netflix wants your thing. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I mean, excuse my language, but you know, I uh, called my mom. I was like, I, I was super happy and super excited. I became like an overnight sensation and just all these opportunities to speak at schools, to talk to kids, uh, to be on shows like the Ellen DeGeneres show. And it opened a lot of doors, but then I took it upon myself to see like, all right, how far can I take this? Let's see how far I can ride this train. I want to ride it till the rails, till the wheels come off. And so far the wheels are still pretty greasy, you know what I mean? So, you know, I want to just see how far I can take my life. How far can I take the success? So I'd say that I didn't want to be like anybody else. I like being different. Yep, it's a brand new Honda Civic Sport hatchback. So is it, do you think it's difficult for you driving or it's easy? Super easy. When he was 17, a woman came and adopted him when he didn't have anyone. Now we're with him at the gym, showing his daily training. One time he got injured in the finger, it made him stop training. When he stops it, he gets depressed. His life is always on pressure, but an enjoyable pressure, because when he trains, he fights, fights every day. I've been waiting to talk about my mom. So my mom, her name is Kimberly Hawkins. Uh, she's an amazing woman. She adopted me at 17. He came into my life. Uh, she really just opened up her home and my whole entire family just opened up their hearts to me and gave me a chance to live. Success, guys, a very, very lonely road, man. And along that road, you're not gonna see too many friends. Uh, at the time, my birth mother, she was in and out of jail. Um, when I was born, she was actually in jail and she had me and then they sent her back, uh, back to prison because uh, during that time, she was on a whole bunch of drugs and she was not a qualified mother, to say the least. 